Hello and welcome to a really great show today on how you display United States Navy Vietnam Veterans Medals. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Veterans Medals Workshop hosted by uh, Medals of America, which supplies the medals, the badges, and the display cases, and of course by Medals of America Press, which supplies the information from our newest books like Military Medals of America. Today we want to talk about the almost two million sailors of the United States Navy that served in Vietnam on battleships, aircraft carriers, destroyers, river patrol boats, amphibious ships on the shore bases, not only in the South Vietnam coast and rivers, but in the North Vietnamese waters. And oh yeah, almost all of the military equipment, in fact, 95% of all military equipment and supplies came to Vietnam with the military sea transport service. So the Navy did it all, air, land, sea. Oh yeah, and they brought the Marines along too. So let's take a look at how a number of these Vietnam veterans of the United States Navy display the medals that they earned for their service in the Republic of Vietnam. Navy not only patrolled the long coastline of Vietnam, but all of the rivers and canals that wound through the countryside. The 7th Fleet also launched thousands of air attacks against North Vietnam, controlled the Gulf of Tonkin, and mined the harbors of Haiphong Harbor and other North Vietnamese ports. So over 50 years later, it's time to look back at these Navy veterans and the honors that they received for their service in Vietnam. So let's take a look at how many Navy Vietnam veterans have displayed their medals today. The United States Navy has an awards program often called the Pyramid of Honor, which provides personal decorations, unit awards, and service awards. By that, I mean decorations or personal awards that can be presented for both valor, as indicated by the V device on the Navy Commendation Medal, or they can be awarded for meritorious service without the V device. U.S. Navy Unit Awards are also considered personal decorations like the United States Navy Unit Commendation or the Department of Defense Joint Meritorious Unit Commendation or the South Vietnamese Gallantry Cross Unit Citation. Navy Service Awards come after personal decorations and unit awards and they are issued for like Good Conduct, National Defense, or the Vietnam Service Medal, which would always have at least one campaign star, or foreign decorations and foreign service medals such as the Vietnamese Campaign Medal. Every Navy officer, warrant officer, chief petty officer, and sailor would have received a National Defense Service Medal, the U.S. Vietnam Service Medal, the Vietnam Campaign Medal, and the Republic of Vietnam Gallantry Cross Unit Citation for service in Vietnam. Chief petty officers and most enlisted sailors would also have received the Good Conduct Medal. This petty officer, first class, a utilities man specialist, was a CB, and he served in Vietnam on shore and received a Navy Commendation Medal with V device for driving a forklift into a flaming ammunition dump and moving pallets of ammunition away from the fire. Uh, he's lucky he didn't get a Purple Heart with that, but he has his Good Conduct Medal, his Vietnam Service Medal, along with the Navy Rifle Expert Medal, and he's added two commemorative medals, one to represent combat action and another to represent the South Vietnamese Gallantry Cross Unit Citation. I'm sure this hangs in the place of honor at home. Every sailor's service was unique, and this display case reflects another CB's service. Not only has his Achievement Medal and Good Conduct Medal, along with his U.S. and Vietnamese campaign medals, but he's added a commemorative medal for serving in the Seabees, a commemorative medal for the Order of the Golden Dragon, and if you don't know what that is, I'm not telling you, and a Gulf of Tonkin commemorative medal to reflect his service in North Vietnamese waters. This petty officer's second class served on the USS Enterprise and has been awarded the Navy Commendation Medal as well as the Good Conduct Medal. And along with his service medals, which by the way reflect three campaigns in Vietnam, he has his marksmanship medal and has added three commemorative medals to reflect his combat service or to the South Vietnamese Gallantry Cross Unit Citation and then the long tours in Vietnam. Here's a better look at the Republic of Vietnam Defense Commemorative Medal, which he has added to the end of his case. 
And yes, there are a number of very handsome commemorative medals for Vietnam service, such as the Combat Action Commemorative of a Combat Service Commemorative, or the Republic of Vietnam Gallantry Cross Unit Citation Commemorative, or even one for the Civic Action Unit Citation. <laughs> okay, here's a clue. We're going to take a look at the display case of a gunner's mate second class next. And here's his case, and he's put his ribbons over his medals, which is very handsome. And another unique feature he's done is he's put in several medallions, including his shellback coin. He's done a nice job of making this a very special case. Here's a really handsome case of a Navy Petty Officer Second Class Bosun's mate who's put together a display using both his badges, his ribbons, his medals, and his dog tags even. For his ribbons, he has the Naval Aviation Warfare Specialist insignia, and above him he has the Surface Warfare insignia. And you say, whoa, wait a minute, that wasn't issued until 1978, but be careful, take a look at his Good Conduct Medal. He has multiple awards, which means he served well after Vietnam and earned the surface warfare insignia then. I also like the personal touches he added, like a shellback commemorative medal. Oh, by the way, if you want to talk to him about his case, uh, you can find him down on the flight deck. This aviation photographer's mate, second class, does a really nice job using both his ribbons and his medals to show his service in Vietnam. And he adds his dog tag. It's a beautifully balanced case, and I think it shows the pride of service. This bosun's mate, second class, served on the USS Oriskany and did a very nice job in putting his personal unit awards over his brass nameplate that identified the ship that he was on. And then he shows his medals, which includes the Accommodation Medal, the Achievement Medal, and the Good Conduct Medal, along with several other Navy awards, including the Expeditionary Medal. You can see his display case holds a lot of memories and the place of honor in his home. A lot of Navy veterans say, hey, that was 50 years ago, I've forgotten my awards, I've lost my sea bag. But if you look on your DD-214, item 26 and 27, you'll clearly see where your awards are written up. Time out for just a second. If you're interested in more information on any of the medals that you're seeing today, you can catch some of our other videos that give you the details of the National Defense Service Medal, of the Vietnam Service Medal, and also, all of the information you're receiving today is in detail in our new book, Military Medals of America, available for you on Amazon or Medals of America Press. Okay, let's get back to it. This aviation machinist mate third class whose brass plate says he served in attack squadron 25 has done a really nice job in building a case for memories. He has some nice medallions, he has his ribbons over his medals, and his medals are interesting in that they show additional service, such as the Armed Forces Expeditionary Medal and service on the waters off of the Korean Peninsula. He certainly wins a special award for having as many commemorative medals as he does service medals. Okay, here's a clue to where our next sailor served. Well, that was a clue along with his gold aircrew wings give you a tip that he served on an aircraft carrier, as well as his air medal and accommodation medal and good conduct medal. And what's unique here is he's had all of his awards gold-plated or anodized. What's special about that is that they'll never tarnish. Okay, let's move from the aircraft carriers to the riverine force. This is what I call a classic Vietnam Navy case because it starts with the ribbons over the medals and it shows his commendation medal, a personal decoration, his personal unit awards, his good conduct medal, his service medals, his foreign awards, and his marksmanship medal. And the medals are below the ribbons. And he's got his small craft badge and his rating up at the right-hand corner. Sailors in the River Reinforce did an incredible job. Here's a classic CB case, but what I want you to really note on this is that in the center of his Vietnam Service Medal is the Eagle Globe and Anchor to indicate that he served with the Marine Corps. Here are the display cases of two sailors who served on the same ship at the same time in the Vietnam War, and what's unique is that each one of them designed his display completely different, even though they have the same medals. It's really fun to see how individual sailors put their awards together. And as a special treat to all you old salts out there, you'll recognize the model behind me as the USS Constitution, America's oldest warship still berthed in Boston Harbor. 
And for those of you who received a Good Conduct Medal, which not all of you did, you'll see it right in the center of your Good Conduct Medal. Here's a display case without a Good Conduct Medal, but perhaps one of the most unique that I've ever seen because it's of a Navy chaplain, and it shows service with the Marine Corps and the award of a Legion of Merit and the Purple Heart. That's very unique for a chaplain. This aviation electronics technician, Petty Officer Second Class, has done a beautiful job with his display case. He has brass plates underneath his awards so you can clearly tell what they are. The Navy Commendation Medal, the Good Conduct Medal, and the very last medal which he has in his display is the Cold War Victory Commemorative Medal, one that's been authorized by Congress, but never approved by the Department of Defense for manufacture because it, well, it was going to be too expensive. I want to wrap up with a case in point on how not to display the medals. And in this particular case, a former admiral who at one time commanded the United States Navy's Sixth Fleet and was a bona fide war hero from World War II with the Navy Cross, the Silver Star, and multiple foreign awards. Someone had just taken his medals and pressed them into a glass case on top of styrofoam. And what a poor way to present the military honors of a bona fide naval hero. So the point here is, take a little time and effort and put your display together like some of those that we've looked at today. <laughs> Thank you for joining us today for our show on how the Navy veterans of the Vietnam War display their medals. I hope you found it as interesting as we did in putting it together. So if you enjoyed it, please give us a like. And if you want any more information, it's all available in one of our books, but especially in the newest book, Military Medals of America. Hey, look forward to seeing you here next time. The lavishly illustrated book, Military Medals of America, is available at moapress.com or on Amazon. And if you hustle, $5 off right now.